Charles Robert Watts, born in London on June 2, 1941. As a child, Watts lived in Wembley, in an area that was heavily bombed during the Second World War. Charlie Watts became interested in art, music and specifically drumming when he was a teenager and picked up the hobby of collecting jazz records. Charlie would continue his creative interest after secondary school by attending Harrow Art School, where he studied graphic design. Watts was given his first drum kit around the age of 14 and would build up his skills as a drummer during his teenage years, which led to him playing in a handful of local bands in coffee shops and small clubs around London. During the mid-50s, Mick Jagger and Keith Richards, who were childhood friends, formed a blues band, mostly covering Muddy Waters, Chuck Berry, and the Chicago Blues Sound. In 1962, Charlie was offered a spot in a band called Blues Incorporated, which is how he would eventually meet Brian Jones, Mick Jagger, and Keith Richards, all of whom regularly went to the local London Rhythm and Blues clubs. Charlie Watts would officially join the Rolling Stones in 1963, with his first appearance with the band being at the Ealing Jazz Club in February of the same year. Not only did Charlie Watts provide a solid rhythm section to the Rolling Stones, but he also contributed to the artwork of some of their records. During his lifelong commitment to the Rolling Stones as their drummer, he saw the band release 30 studio albums, over 30 live albums, and enjoyed incredible amounts of success with records such as Sticky Fingers, Exile on Main Street, Voodoo Lounge, and more recently with Blue and Lonesome. Since forming in the early 60s, the Rolling Stones have become arguably the biggest rock band of all time. Their contribution to music is incredible, and no doubt Charlie's memory will be remembered through the music for decades to come. Rest in peace, Charlie. We're not strong, and you're so sweet.